and welcome to day four of Vlogmas. I just turned the camera on real quick because Trixie was sneezing and it was pretty cute. But of course, she stopped. Trixie! Trix! <laughs> so as you can tell as well, Ed is having a relaxing Saturday. Ugh, just a little bit. You know it's good when one pant leg has become a short. Well, she... <laughs> Trixie was like trying to like get under my pant leg, so I was like, fine, you want to see my leg? Fine. But, <laughs> so I did that, and then she had no interest whatsoever. Yeah. And then I have just, I finally got my guess. So, I'm watching Jordaline reads her December TBR. We've got the tree on. It's going to be, it's going to be a quiet day today, I think. But Trixie's here, and she's awfully cute. So I just got this second my second cozy mystery book to read. I got this from NetGalley as well. It's called Christmas Cabernet and Chaos, A Sally and Pearl Adventure by Wendy Day. I don't know who Sally and Pearl are, but from what I could pick up on what I was reading on NetGalley, it's a, like a murder mystery being solved by two best friends, but the best friends are like in their 60s or 70s. And I think that's very funny. And the reason I downloaded it is because it's humor. Um, some of the tags were like humor, satire, murder mystery. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you got me. It's a beautiful afternoon out today. Although you can already see that the sun is getting ready to go down. And it's only, what time is it, Ed? Uh, it is 3.02 p.m. 3.02. <laughs> okay, so I've got my 80s ceramic Christmas tree lit up. And we are getting ready to start the book don't mind the crack in my bad there <laughs> so chapter one christmas is coming I just came now to sit and do my nails, but I thought before I did that, I would show you this notebook or journal. Uh, my mom gave me this for my birthday this year, for my 41st birthday, and it's so beautiful. It's this leather bound book. It has a tie that goes around it. Let me show you the inside. Inside, you can see like the hand, the hand bound pages. So much. They're all blank. They're not lined, um, but I don't care. Normally, I, I pick up notebooks with lines, but I will use this happily, proudly, gleefully um, every day. It's so beautiful. I just love it. I love that she saw it and thought of me. That's just, that warms my heart. Okay, so for today's polish, we're, we're not going to Christmassy yet. We're going to use this one here. It's this sort of um grayish purple that I really love what's it called oh my gosh I don't have my glasses on <laughs> hang on okay <laughs> so she is called grounded and then this is a like sugar top coat from Sally Hansen it's just got a really fine sheen of glitter on top which just looks so pretty on everything so I thought she would look cute on her um, until we are ready to switch over to more Christmas nails, which will be probably, um, probably Thursday or Friday, because on Saturday I'm going to my friend's house, um, for a little visit before Christmas, before things get too hectic, and uh, I'll have more festive nails then. Okay, here are today's nails finished. I haven't cleaned up the the edges but here's the color it looks very dark in this lighting it's not quite as dark in the daylight okay I feel like I always hit record just a second before I've actually got the tripod sorted 
Hi there guys, how are you doing today? Today was a very relaxing, very quiet stay at home day. I literally did not step foot outside the house today. <laughs> That's all right, it's been so cold the past few days, I just needed a day to stay in and stay warm. Um, though it has warmed up a little bit today. Uh, yesterday was very, very cold, but today's not so bad. Anyway, so we just, we just stayed home, got a bit of work done around the house. Um, I'm making dinner now. We're having sausages and potatoes. And after that, we're going to have an early night tonight, I think. We were wondering if maybe we were going to watch um, Everything Everywhere All at Once, I think it's called, that movie. Um, I know everyone's been talking about it for most of the year, and it's finally up on Prime here in Canada. So we were talking about watching that tonight, but I think we might wait till tomorrow. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it because, like I said, I've heard so much about it. So, but we're going to get an early night tonight. I need, I need an early night. I slept terribly last night. Anyway, enough complaining. I, f I started the book, um, Christmas Cabernet and Chaos, I think it's called. This is very clearly a book in a series. <laughs> I've learned that from the first couple of chapters, but that said, it's fine. Like it's, it's easy to keep up. Like you can read it on its own. Um, but they reference things that happened in other books, but it's referenced in such a way that it's like, you, you can get the gist of what's going on. And now it's Christmas for them. And I think it's gonna be cute. I think it's gonna be cute. Um, you know, nothing too serious like most Christmas books, nice and light. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do the review in tomorrow's video. It'll depend on how quickly I read it. It'll either be day five's video or more than likely day six's. So yeah, but I don't really have a ton of news <laughs> to share with you guys today. Um, yeah, not much to report. But you know what? That's good, too. That's good. Days like that are good as well. I'm just trying to think if I'm forgetting anything, because I feel like I am. <laughs> That's the thing, too, about when you're daily vlogging. Like, I'll be going about my day, and something will pop into my head, and I'll be like, oh, I have to tell you guys that. <laughs> as though we're sitting here having a conversation. I'll be like, gotta remember to tell them that, but I can't, I can't remember what it was, or if it was anything today. So while dinner's cooking, I think I'm going to go do a bit more work on the book. That's coming along nicely. I'm doing some editing now and I've got a friend um, reading it over to let me know what they think. And I'm just kind of working on getting the ending right. Which when you read it, you'll understand why for this one in particular, getting the ending just right is so important. So I keep writing the ending and then scrapping it and then writing the ending and then scrapping it. <laughs> like I know what wants to happen, but in my heart and in my mind, there's just a, the perfect way for it to unfold. Um, and it's, it's sort of the final the final twist slash reveal of the book and uh, so yeah we're just gonna keep on writing it and scrapping it the thing too about I'm sure any type of art that you make um, whether that's writing or painting or songs whatever it is it's never done like you're never like okay that's as good as it's gonna be or no, you do say that. You never say, that's as good as it can possibly be. You get to a point where you're like, okay, this is as good as it's going to be. <laughs> I'm not quite to that part yet. I'm not ready to call it as it's as good as it can be. So we'll see. We will see how it goes. So yeah, I'm going to go work on that for a bit. And then, yeah, we're just going to, we're going to hit the hay early tonight. I've got to get a dentist appointment in the coming week. I'm sure maybe some of you have noticed. I've tried to like keep the angle right so that you can't see it, but in my front teeth, I lost a filling. And I have terrible, terrible 
dental anxiety. And because of that, <laughs> I have one particular dentist that I can go to, that my nerves will allow me to go to. And she used to be in town, obviously, that's where I found her. Um, and now she's moved. <laughs> um, so I gotta go to her and it's absolutely worth it. Um, but it's just taken a little while to get, to get ready for that. So in the coming week, that should be <laughs> all fixed. I try to, I try to keep it. I'm so self-conscious of it, of course, because it looks, it looks terrible. But I mean, that's it. That's life. These things happen. So if you see it, that's, that's what that is. <laughs> and it'll be fixed soon. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and go get dinner served up. Oh, no, not served up. It's not quite ready. Go work on the book, then get dinner served up. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.